We are ready for Adobe Spark number five. Here's what it's going to be. I'm going to pull up this handout. This is posted on Google Classroom. It's a web page, website. Don't know what you want to call it for sure. Uh, but it's uh, web. It's kind of like a mini website. But you'll see. Watch the movie. You'll see. Website. Okay. Uh, so you're going to use Adobe Spark to create a website that tells what you would consider to be a very good day. What would be the things that would have to be a part of a very good day? Now, I guess if you come up with some other good topic that you could do, uh, I'm okay with that. But this is my suggested approach. Uh, tell me about what would be a very good day. What would it include? Or you could even say best day ever. Uh, all right. So you're going to have to have an intro page. I'll show you that in a minute on Adobe Spark. And then at least three additional pages and i'll show you what that looks like on adobe spark that gets you 40 points of the whole thing then you're going to have to use an, at least one image on each part of it and that's five points and using text on each part of it is five points as well so that all adds up to 50. i've got instructions here about you know getting started and this tells you how to get like the how do you get started uh with the web page and um I could even highlight this. How do you get started with the web page and what do you do for, for like the first page when you're working on it? And then um, how do you build the rest of the pages? How do you do that? So there's instructions here about choices that you can make and all of that. Uh, but the detailers, the details are coming up in this movie. All right. So um there's a uh, little information here about previewing the show. How can you take a look at it before you turn it in? And then you submit these differently. You, t you turn them in differently than what we've been doing. So that is a thing as well. So I'll show you that too. Let's go to work. Let's go over here and let me show you some things. I'm already logged in to Adobe Spark. So I'm going to go right here. Web page. That's how we're going to get started. So I'm going to click that. And it's going to take a couple of seconds. Now, uh, you kind of get right to work on this. It doesn't give you a whole bunch of... There are themes over here. You could come over to the top right and pick a theme. In fact, I think I'm going to go... What am I going to use? I'm going to use Wesley. All right. Boom. So I'm going to use that. But you could use any of these themes that you might want over here. Though, and they kind of have to do with some text styles and a, a few little other things to get added. All right. So let's go ahead and add a title. This is going to be Best day ever is what I'm going to say. And then for my subtitle, I'm going to say according to Mr. Arvin. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Should capitalize that. I'm having trouble capitalizing that. Uh, I got it. All right. Now this has, to, this needs an image. Remember you have to have an image for kind of everything. So I'm just going to hit this plus sign down at the bottom and add a photo. I've already got some photos saved that I want to use. I wanted to save time. You could, you know, you can go save things off the internet. You can connect to your Google Drive if you want to. I'm just going to upload. And I've got this sunshine photo. So I'm going to open that. And if you click on the photo, uh, you can do things like uh, change the focal point if you want. I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to go with this. This is my page one. This is my landing page, my first page. Best day ever, according to Mr. Arvin. All right. So it says down here, scroll to start writing your story. So I scroll this down. And as I scroll it down, a little plus sign appears. And I can do any of these things right here. Now, the ones I'm going to suggest for today are photo, photo grid, glide show, or split layout. Okay, so on the on my second page, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do photo, boom, and I'm gonna upload it, boom, and I've got a picture of uh, coffee. Coffee is part of what I consider to be any good day. All right, so when it first pops on, it looks like this, but this photo comes up with some options. I can do it inline, which is what you're seeing right now. Fill the screen. I could do that. Uh, a window. Well, that, that, I guess that would be okay. Full width. Um, this would move it in sequence, so and I don't want to replace it or delete it. I think I'm going to fill the screen with it. You could play around with these options, but I'm going to fill the screen with this photo. Now, if you fill the screen with the photo, the other thing that has to happen is, remember we have to have text? So over here on this side, it says caption. Oh, okay, so I can click over here and say, any really good day should include some coffee oops if you ask me 
which you didn't. <laughs> uh, all right, so there's my caption, right? Um, and I can move that over to the other side if I want to. I can kind of move it around a little bit, but that's what you want. So really, this this page is kind of done. And the way that you're going to navigate through, you're not. It's not going to be like a traditional website where you click a button, click a button, click a button. The way you're going to wind up navigating through this thing is just by scrolling. Uh, these are really cool if you email them to yourself and look at them on your phone. Um, they're really cool because they scale down to fit your phone and, I, the, and you swipe them with your finger and it, they're cool. Anyway, so this page is done, right? I, that's one of my things that I think makes a really good day. Okay. So when I scroll this down, I'm just using my scroll wheel on, on my mouse, but you can probably, if you're on your Chromebook, you can just probably swipe up. on. I, I'm not sure. I'm not doing it on a Chromebook, but uh, I'm sure it'll, you'll figure that out. All right. So as I scroll this down, I get another plus sign that says, okay, what do you want to do now? What's next? And again, remember the choices that I'm recommending. Photo, photo grid, uh, glide show, split layout. I'm going to do split layout on this one. Boom. All right, split layout. We've kind of seen something like this before. Um, you can put an image on one side and then something else on the other side, and you could flip flop them if you want with that little button in the middle. I am a huge NFL football fan. Sorry about that, but I'm going to add an image over here. I don't know why I'm sorry. Why am I sorry? All right, and I'm going to add this picture right here. Okay, so that's my picture. Now, over here, I want to add at least a little bit of text. So I'm going to click on the plus sign that this is my split screen kind of thing. So I'm going to click the plus sign and I'm going to say text and I'm going to make this, I'm going to hit this H2 thing. It makes it bigger and I'm going to center it and then I'm just going to type in here um, a really good day would include an NFL football game. Now, when you're doing these, when you're doing the split screen thing, you know, I, I, you see another plus sign that appears here. I could add some more text if I wanted to. I could click here. I could add another photo if I wanted to. Uh, I don't think we need a button. The buttons tend to just want to jump off to some other website, and I don't really want to do that. All right, so I'm going to add some more text, uh, I'm, I'm, and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to use this H2 setting, which makes it a little bit bigger. Sounds like HTML, and I'm going to center it, and I'm going to go... Um, I love the NFL season and the off season is a dark period in my life. All right, cool. And then uh, I might do this. I, uh, there's see, it keeps adding these plus signs, right? So I'm going to do this, and I am going to add a little photo here, and it's on my Google Drive. You can uh, you see where mine says disconnect over here. You can connect to your Google Drive if you want to. You just have to allow it to happen. Uh, all right, so I'm going to dig in here. This will only take a second. I'm going to go up to uh, digital media. And actually, this is something I have saved in a Photoshop folder here. I got it. Okay, I want this NFL shield. Select that. Give it a second. Okay, so see what I've got here is I've got kind of two pieces of text. This is the split layout thing. Picture on one side, text, text, and then I added a little photo over here. Uh, so, hey, I'm pretty happy with this page. Cool. Let's move on. Uh, this one's done. So I got my, see, my first page is done. Yay. Now I roll it down, and this, this is going to be my second page, coffee. All right, that makes a really good day. An NFL game makes a really good day. All right, cool. So as I scroll this down now and I hit the bottom of, of my screen, it's going to pop up with this plus sign again. So, okay, what do you want next? Well, I only have one more to do. I could do a photo grid or a split. Uh, um, uh, I'm going to show you a glide show. Look at this glide show. Um, you can play around with photo grid if you want to. I bet you can figure it out. But I'm going to do a glide show for my last one. All right, so I'll go boom, glide show. Now, you have to pick images for your glide show. Oh, okay. So this was looking on my Google Drive. I'm going to close that and just upload photos because I have some things saved. I, I'm going back to um, mm -hmm. Pi. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so I'm going to hold the, I'm holding the control key. I have a bunch of pie pictures that I did some pie pictures the other day too, right? So I'm holding the control key on my keyboard and go click, 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 and I can pick all of those pie pictures. And I'm going to wait a second. Um, I don't want that one. 
I want this one. All right. Sorry, I picked a wrong one there. Uh, yeah. All right. So I'm good. Boom. Open those. Now, the way the glide show works is it just kind of it puts these pictures in in a particular order, and you can change their order if you want to. But if you're doing a glide show, once you have selected the pictures, you have to come up here on the top right and say save. Boom. Now, look at what it does. If I roll my mouse wheel, it's going to kind of, you see what it's doing? It goes through those four pictures, and they kind of come at you. I'm rolling my mouse wheel backwards now. That's why it's called a glide show. And you'll see, I'll show you the preview here in a minute. Now, for each one of those pictures, you get a little text bl block here where I can go text. And again, I'm going to do this H2 center, uh, a good day involves pi. All right, and then I'm going to roll it on down. And, and these can be moved if I want to move this text block to the other side. I'm going to put some text in. I'm going to do that H2, and I'm going to center it. And I'm going to say, I don't really care what kind of pi. And I'll roll this on down. And there's another text block here. And I'm going to add text. And I'm going to say I'm going to do that H2. I like that. I like the text a little bit bigger. And the H2 thing makes it bigger. Um, my two favorite kinds of pie are hot and cold. Doesn't matter. All right. And again, I'm going to roll it down. I got one more picture of pie. And I'm going to move this block text thing over here and go boom and go boom and uh, I like the H2 and I like the center and so pi all right cool got it now this is really it if I roll this all the way up if I keep rolling up I've really done the whole thing right everything's in here here's my beginning page best day ever according to mr arvin i did that at the very start and then here i added a full screen photo right i added a photo and i made it full page and i put a caption on it all right and here i did the split layout thing and i put a picture on one side some text on the other side okay and then here down here i did the glide show kind of thing where if you scroll down through this those pies keep kind of coming at you and, the, and you'll see what I mean with this here in just a minute. All right, so really this is complete. The only one I didn't do is the photo grid, which if you want to try a photo grid, jump in there and hammer on it and figure it out. You're not going to you're not gonna break anything. Okay, so it's done, right? If you would like to watch it, up at the top, there is a, a present and a preview button, and both of them would. The only difference here, if you preview, it kind of has to load up for a second, and um, then you just scroll right you just hit your you just scroll your mouse wheel or uh, probably swipe on a chromebook maybe right so you see how that all kind of works there right and when it gets done when it gets down the bottom that's it i'm just rolling my mouse wheel but i bet you can probably just uh like use your touchpad to do it or you can probably just swipe on the screen to do it i'm guessing I haven't done it on a Chromebook. Sorry, I should have done it on a Chromebook, but I didn't. All right, so um, there's that, and then you hit the X to get out of a preview. If, if you do present, the only difference is in the bottom right-hand side, there's these buttons. They have an up button and a down button, and you can click them. So the Glide Show really only kind of counts as one single page, right? It, it's a single page that has four pictures uh, on it. That's how the Glide Show kind of works. All right. Now, so we got to, I'm going to hit the X on that. So we got it. Now what we got to do is turn it in, right? So what do you do when you turn it in? This one's a little bit different. Here's what you do. When you're done, you go share right up here at the top. And you're going to publish and share link. Um, and if you want like the author thing to show up, click this little dude right here and um, you can pick a category if you want to. I mean, you, I, this is, I'm going to say this is lifestyle. You don't have to have a category, I don't think. But I'm just going to say lifestyle on this. You could put photo credits in, but I'm not going to bother with that. All right, so uh, publish and share. And I turned on the author thing. And uh, I gave it a category. And it's down here, create link. Boom. Takes a second here. It's going to create the link, create the link, to create the link. 
All right, it's taking more than a second, sorry. But it'll get there. All right, and so here it is. And I don't know, I mean, you, you can... If you click these like Facebook, Twitter, oh look, I could say, I could say, show this to, I could share it on Classroom <laughs> if I wanted to. You probably could too. But here's here's the way you could really turn this in. All right, copy the link. This is a shareable link that is made right here. So copy it. Boom. It says copied. Get back to your you know Google Classroom thing, and and it's not on there right now while I'm recording this movie. But you would get back to the assignment. And on the assignment, you would hit the add button and add a link, and you would just paste that link in there, right? That's all you would have to do. You would just, where to go? Uh, that link right there that I just copied, you would get to Google Classroom and just uh, paste it and turn that in. Yay. All right. So there you go. Uh, that's how you do it. Uh, that let's give it a shot. Uh, you can always email if you have questions. I'm here to help you. Uh, and I'm going to be pretty accepting of whatever you make. Best day ever. Okay, off you go.